The 2022 G League Elite Camp is going on right now, and if you aren't already watching, you definitely should. It's a two-day event where 44 of the top players that are projected to go undrafted can go at each other in front of NBA and G League scouts. They do some strength and agility drills, but will also be scrimmaging against each other. And they're calling it the ultimate job interview. But no pressure. Before I mention some of the players, if you do want to watch live, it's May 16th to May 17th from 5.30pm to 9.30pm Eastern Standard Time. These are the 44 players that were invited to the league. There's so many names it's hard to read, so I'm going to mention some of the names that pop out to me personally. First of all, I'll mention fan favorite Sharif O'Neal, who I was kind of surprised got the invite. Since Sharif got heart surgery after high school, it was hard for him to come back and be the same player he was before and get the same minutes he deserved. I love the fact that he was invited, and if he does have what it takes to become a professional basketball player, it's definitely going to show in this camp. He's gone through a lot to get here, so even though his stats aren't the best, it doesn't accurately represent how good he can really be. There's a couple star players coming out of the March Madness tournament like JD Note, Brady Manic, and Eli Brooks. JD Note is a guard that spent four years in college finishing at Arkansas and was their main guy. He loves to shoot. He has the confidence of LaMelo Ball and Klay Thompson combined. So when he's on fire, he's extremely scary. Brady Manic was UNC's big man and was their clear leader. He is a dude that makes plays on both ends of the floor. He spent five years in college and spent four of those years in Oklahoma, but didn't get the recognition he deserved until he went to UNC. He's a really good player, he just has to find his fit transitioning into the NBA. South Dakota State's Baylor Shireman is another guard that is 6'6". He spent three years there and averaged 16 points, 8 rebounds, and 4.5 assists a game in his most recent year. He can literally do everything. In 35 games, he shot 50% from the field, 47% from three, and 80% from the free throw line. Kenneth Lofton Jr., not the son of Kenny Lofton somehow, is a 6'7", 275-pound forward that moves so well for his height and weight. He has the Zion Williamson build without the 40-inch vertical, but he's also not jumping out the gym like Zion. He has a great post-up game and the most Hall of Fame pump fake badge there is. He has potential to be really good. Buddy Boheim played four years at Syracuse, averaging 19 points a game in his senior season. He probably would have been a higher prospect, but he punched a dude in the stomach getting suspended in the conference tournament. I mean, it was, but it wasn't. It was, but it wasn't. He hold me. He's still a really good player, though, and has a great all-around game. The last player I'm going to mention is Max A. Smith, who played for Oral Roberts and is a pure bucket. At 6'1", he averaged 22.8 points a game, breaking several records and winning many awards in the process. But there are several other players that I can mention, like Jermaine Samuels, Bryson Williams, and so many more. There's two players coming from overseas leagues, and one even coming from the overtime elite. Also, Ryan Terrell will be at the camp and is attempting to become the first Orthodox Jew in NBA history. He led the entire NCAA in points per game with 27 a game and shot 46.8% from three. There is a ton of talent stacked top to bottom. Like I said earlier, it's the ultimate job interview. These scrimmages and drills could change some of these players' lives forever. And it's going to be streamed live on Twitch for our entertainment. That sounds horrible. If you don't plan on watching live, I'll definitely be making an update video talking about everything that goes on. But thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe to the channel. It would mean a lot.